to another episode of Above the Fold. Today, I'm going to be talking about how I give my lashes a boost. I currently have on eyeshadow and eyeliner here all close up a bit, but this is pre-mascara. And I wanted to show you the process that I use to give my lashes somewhat of a boost, especially since I have monolids. And if you haven't done so, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm constantly coming out with new and informative content and we don't want you to miss out on anything. So yeah, without further ado, let's just dive right in. So I'm going to start off by kind of doing a little bit of a story time. Um, I think the challenge with monolids is obviously, I talked about in my previous videos, but basically you have this layer of skin that sits over your lashes and not only does this weigh them down and kind of point, your lashes will point downwards, but also at the same time, um, it's just very prone to smudging because the, you have this layer of skin sitting above your lashes. So. Um, this definitely was really challenging for me and I would definitely say that um, growing up and even now um, trying out different mascaras is definitely a trial and error process. Um, I can remember pretty vividly many um, disasters I had with makeup. Um, I think I remember this one time I went to class and the classmate kind of politely <laughs> told me that I had um, mascara all over my eyes and I've definitely had moments where I had um, a case of raccoon eyes so it's definitely, it was definitely a trial and error process and um, I think uh, for now I am kind of set on the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara that I've kind of highlighted in a lot of my previous videos I wouldn't say this is um, something I'm just going to stick to and not be open to any other options because let's be honest here, this tube ain't cheap. <laughs> so if I can find anything that is a cheaper alternative and I feel like I get the same or even better results, I will jump at it. But for now, I feel like this I've seen the most results with this and it's given me like some semblance of um, volume, like some set, some semblance of volume and length for my lashes. So another challenge I have to address is that I was not born with long and luscious lashes. So yeah, anything I can get to help me in this department, um, I will. Uh, I will go ahead and make that purchase and take that chance. So, okay, so the first thing I am going to start out with, um, oh, well, before I get into it, I can talk a little bit about why I feel like this, this um, tube has done the most wonders. And I think it really has to do with the fact that it's a waterproof formula. From my years of trial and error, I've come to find that any sort of lightweight waterproof formula would do the best in not weighing down your lashes and holding that curl and also preventing um, smudging throughout the day. So yeah, it's a pain to take off the mascara at the end of the day, but um, then again, you won't look like, or you won't have raccoon eyes for the entire day. So take your pick on what alternative you would prefer. And I think also, um, Basically, they have these volume, voluminizing um, bristles and also has this sort of an hourglass shape and I think it definitely helps lengthen, um, create volume and hold that curl. So I think it has something to do with the brush and the formula combined and it has really helped me achieve, again, that semblance of long, luscious lashes or getting as close to possible as I can to that. So yeah, I'm gonna start off by showing you. So I'm actually gonna do one eye first, just to show the difference. And I'm gonna start off by curling my lashes. So I, I use a Shiseido eyelash curler. And I think for me, um, what I tend to do is, you wanna form kind of like a C shape. So I curl it at different points of my lashes. Um, I've read that 
to avoid creating the L shapes, which is just like crimping it in one part. So um, that's what I usually do. So let's start off with the right eye. Okay, I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna curl a little bit more. My lashes are pretty stubborn. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this and basically I just drag and wiggle it. And try to separate and brush it out at the same time. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good, but yeah, I hope you can kind of see the difference already between the right eye and the left eye. And then I think also other things that I like to do to help my lashes stand out is I mentioned in previous videos, I like to trace over the liner with like a light shade of eye pencil because when you have one, it'll let you draw the thicker line. So I think black against black doesn't really stand out as much. But yeah, hope you can kind of see a difference. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara on the bottom because I think that also helps. This is before, this is after. So I think there's definitely more um, like some blends of some luscious lashes kind of like sticking up and having this curl. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply the other one and then you can see before and after more clearly. So yeah, this is the finished look with all of the mascara applied. But as you can see, it's probably clear with the before and after, but definitely um, I feel like this mascara really pushes up my lashes and holds that curl and gives me some semblance of lashes. So as of now, I'm going to stick with toothpaste um, until I find anything better that can replace it. But I've seen the most results with this one. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and please stay tuned for more content that I'll be generating to help keep you informed and entertained during this time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.